What's going on everyone? My name is Jay and this is another auto chess video. Let's get into it. So as you can see today it's going to be a little bit different. Um, the video is going to be a little bit different compared to the videos that I've uploaded till now. Um, so y'all know that in the recent patch that we got, we got a new patch where you get to choose your own items. So what this has done to the meta is that the way that you use your items plays a key role depending if you can win the match or you can potentially lose the match if you don't use your items well. So if you're a beginner and you're just starting to play the game, this might be a little confusing or it might be a little daunting for you. Um, you might not know what item to go for if you're playing mage. You might not know what item to go for if you're playing hunters. So hopefully this video is going to help you out. Um, I'm going to talk about three comps that are in the meta right now and I'm going to tell you what items that you can go for for a particular comp. So let's start with Dragon Mages. Dragon Mages are relatively strong in this meta but Glacier Knights are the strongest comp in my opinion in this meta. Um, just, just for the fact that how easy it is to snowball if you're playing Knights, if you high roll into them. Um, but Dragon Mages are still a relatively strong comp. So if you're playing mages, what do you want to do? You want to cast your abilities faster. And in order to cast your abilities faster, what are you going to need? Mana. And that's where mana crystals will help you out. It's going to help you generate mana faster. So if you decided that you're going to go mages, if you just buy the mana crystals, the best item that you can go for if you're playing mages is Orb of Refresh. If you don't know what Orb of Refresh is, it's basically, yeah, you, you'll be able to cast your ability twice. So, for example, let's say you're playing Storm Shaman, um, his ult will go off twice uh, with no cooldown in between. Um, so, in order to get that, you're going to need two Mana Crystals and then two Ring of Lives. So, I would suggest you, so, for example, in the round one, you get a Ring of Life, um, and then some other unit like a uh, armor and then some some other unit like a wooden club. I wouldn't suggest you to buy the ring of life just because you you're gonna go for orb of refresh. What what you should do is buy the mana crystals first, and then once you have two of them, that's when you can work towards a refresher orb. Uh, because there might be games where you get mana crystals but you might not get ring of life and vice versa so don't work like don't just buy ring of life because you know that you're gonna go for a refresher of it because it might not be possible sometimes buy the mana crystals first and then work towards it um and then another item that you can go for is heaven's gift so you might be wondering jay you're playing mages why would you need heaven's gift it's a good question um, so when it comes to dragon mages, you don't have much of a front line. Um, the best you, you have is a, either a two star pirate captain or a three star god of war or a three star swordsman. So this not going to be much front line. So getting this item, it's going to help you a lot because it's going to give you tankiness and it's going to give you that just, just that amount of time where your unit might it might be able to cast this ability. So this is not a must item compared to the Orb of Refresh, but it is still a really good item to go for. So you're going to need Kira Axe and then the Shield. Um, so this is the same thing. Once you buy the Kira Axe and then only you can, you should buy the Shield because Shield as a standalone unit, standalone item, it's not that good. Com same, same thing for Ring of Life. So the other optional items that you can go for are Mysterial Staff. Um, if you don't know what Mysterial Staff, it gives you a little bit of mana. And you can either get a Scythe of Vice, which is a really good item. Um, it turns the enemy into a penguin, a random enemy. So for example, let's say you're up against knights. And um, this turns the enemy's light blade knight for five seconds into a penguin. You pretty much won that round, right? So it is a little bit RNG, but it can help you out at times. Uh, another item that you can go for is ice armor. This again is another, you can put that on your front line. 
and this will help so that that's one item and um, not many people know this but infused mask is a really good item on your dragon knight if you're going dragon mages so let's see what it does it says when dealing normal attacks it increases the lifesteal by 10 percent max hp by 500 and whatever you're attacking it won't recover hp for five seconds so it's a really good item to put on your dragon knight um so you can get that you can and other items are pretty much optional and you can also get uh, magicka staffs so for example let's say that you you're getting a lot of magicka crystals but you're not getting any ring of lives and um, you're like in a do or die situation you're like in 10 you're like with 10 hp or you're like one shot territory right so you're not gonna want to wait for a potential um refresher orb so in those situations if you see these items just buy them and then you can make them into pulse staffs and then you can upgrade them more if you want to so these are all the these are all the best items you can get if you're playing dragon mages all right so the next comp that we're going to talk about is glacier knights this is the best comp in the meta right now um it is a levels like it peaks at i mean it uh gets a huge spike at level 7 and then you can go to level 8 and then put in Aegis. It, it's just overall it's just the best comp that you can run for right now um, just because it is so easy to get a lot of 3 stars um, so if you might be wondering what items you can get for knights so the best item then one of the must items you can get for knights is frantic mask um, so if you don't know this will silence whatever unit that you put the this item on but we all know that the light blade knight does not have any ability so if you put this item on her and if you make that a three star she's gonna regen a lot of lifesteal because let's say what's the passive is when dealing normal attacks increases lifesteal by 10 percent and attack speed by 40 percent so this will help out your light blade knight a lot um, so this is a must item to be honest um, to get um, other optional other items are pretty much optional like you can go for tank items for your light blade knight you can go for a barbaric curious which is a really good item on your hell knight or you can go for axe of devil blood which is basically two rune hammers um, this is also a really good item on your light blade knight um, and again, Heaven's Gift, Heaven's Gift is just a really good item. It doesn't matter what comp you're playing. If you can get this item, just buy it because it's just really good. Um, and then everything else, like these are all the damage items. Uh, Dragon Bone Ballista, Mjolnir, and then Killerbot 300. These are all items for, that can go on your Light Blade Knight. And this, these are all really good items. But So you, you will need to like go through the combinations and stuff but these are all the optional items that you can work towards but the must item that you should get is frantic mask the good thing about knights is that you don't like it's not entirely dependent on items i mean it is and like there is a portion of it like when it gets to late game it it all depends on the items obviously but i'm talking about like early and mid game you, you're not I mean the frantic mask will help your light blade at night a lot but it's not a must you know, like but yeah when it comes to late game you're gonna need items but it is knights are one of the fewest comps that you can actually get a top three plays with pretty bad items uh, because it's that strong so the must item is frantic mask and then everything else is optional heaven's gift you can get heaven's gift these are all the items that you can potentially work towards um you can also get ice armor for your hell knight barbary curious is a really good item on your hell knight you can go for um you can go to level nine and then put in a storm shaman if you're up against mages so again mana items are good um but yeah like when it comes to your knights any item is pretty good but the must is frantic mask all right that's all for knights let's get into the next one all right so the next comp that we're gonna talk about 
is hybrid hunters. Um, if you don't, if you didn't know what hybrid hunters is, it's basically three hunters, three warriors, two warlocks, and then whatever else that you can throw in. Um, this used to be a comp uh, run by the number one guy. I don't remember the name. Um, he used to run it in Asia server like last season, and uh, it is still a really really good build. Just because of all the, just because of all the flexibility that this uh, this comp has. Um, so you're gonna need Siren in your comp because it give, it will give you free marine with the Abyssal Crawler, and for your Siren you're gonna need man items. So again, Refresher Orb is a really good item to work towards, and you 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 will also have Dwarf Sniper in your comp. So again, Frantic Mask is a really good item on him. So you might be wondering, he has an ability. So why should I silence him? Um, so if you have so it is a lot of people, a lot of pro people actually put the frantic mask on him because even though he has an ability and it does magical damage, the time it takes for him to uh, use his ult and the potential attack speed that you might get from your frantic mask on your dwarf sniper, it out damages the one without. So the whatever magical damage his ult does, it will be lesser than the damage that he will do while just auto attacking. So that's why this item is a really good item on a Dwarf Sniper. Um, you can also put this on your Igersus Ranger, but you will need that to be three star late game in order to be pretty good. Um, and once again, Heaven's Gift is a really good item as well. And uh, yeah, pre every every other every other item, um, again, Dragon Ball Mulster, Mjolnir, Killer Bot 300, they are all the items that you can potentially work towards. But yeah, must items are Refresher Orb for your Siren, if possible, and Heaven's Gift for your whichever tank. And this is also a really good item, by the way. If you get the chance to, if you get the chance to get this one, buy it for your Dwarf Sniper. Frantic Mask is also really good. Um, yeah, the that's about it for hybrid hunters and uh, let's get into the next one so the next topic that we're gonna talk about are situational items so let's say for example in a lobby there are, are two people or even one guy uh, let's say there's one guy in your lobby who's going feathered um, so what's what's feathered synergy it um, he might be like you might miss your attacks you might miss your normal attacks so if you can get this item that is highlighted here the oblivion staff or better yet the monkey king bar this is going to be a complete counter to the guy who's going feathered because let's see what it does if you get the monkey king bar it says your attack cannot be dodged so for example let's say you're playing knights and you put this on your light blade knight she's not gonna miss any attacks and she's gonna shred through those druids the really good thing about feathered is because of all those misses but if you're if you're carry if the opponent carries just gonna not miss and shred through your entire comp it's gonna be useless so if it is against feathered if you're if you have a feathered in your lobby try to get this item but better yet if you get an oblivion staff even this is more than enough most of the times and uh, the next item that is pretty situational that is really also really good is claw wand so let's see what it does it increases magic resist by 100 percent and is immune to skills for eight seconds so let's think if you have if you're in a lobby where there's two people or even more than that if let's say three or four people are going mages this item is going to be really really good against them because it increases the magic resistance and it's also immune to skills so you can put this on your light blade knight you can put this on for example if you're playing assassins you can put this on your shadow crawler and she'll just shred through those mages um, you can also put this on your dwarf sniper. Like this, is a really good item. So if you if you're in a lobby against mages, get this one. 
And now let's move on to the next one. The next item that is really good is Cloud Health Build. So a lot of people actually don't build it, like at least I've seen in my lobbies. Um, but this is a really, really strong item that can potentially turn you the game when it comes to late game fights. So what this does is disarms the enemy with the highest attack for five seconds. So this is kind of like the Scythe of Vice where it turns the enemy into a penguin, but this is random. But this one, we know for sure that it will shut it down. So for example, let's say you're up against a knight player and his light blade knight is stacked with damage items. So if you get this item on anyone in your team, it will just shut that light blade knight for five seconds. And within five seconds, it can literally change you the game. Um, so this is a really good item that you can get. So the prerequisites are Kira Axe and then the coin. Oh, no way. The coin, the lucky coin. If you go get this item, this is a really, really good item. But if you're knights and you're up against mages, <laughs> you, you're, not, you're not gonna want this item because I mean, who's gonna, who's gonna be auto attacking, right? So that's why it's situa situational. So the situational items are Cloud Halberd, Monkey King Bar, which is good against Feathered, and then what was the other one? The Claw Wand. Claw Wand, which is, will be good against Mages. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, and uh, hopefully this, uh, this will help you in uh, understanding the items and how you can use it to your advantage. Um, I will also um, add the screenshots to every comp beside it so that you won't you'll find it easier. But yeah, anyway, um, until I see you all in the next video, peace out my dudes.